Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of real world number pairs. This is standard 3.5e in the great state of Texas. And we are looking at number 12 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause this video, work it out on your own, and then when you're done, unpause it. Let's look at our answers together. So our answer is going to be in the number in the form of these tables. And uh, sometimes we'll call these input-output tables. And we will be looking for a rule or some kind of pattern to go from your left to your right side. But let's look at our problem. Campers at a lake rented 18 more canoes than paddle boats each week during the five weeks, which table shows the number of canoes and paddle boats. So the only clue we get right here is 18 more canoes than paddle boats. So I'm just going to use C and P. So I'm going to say 18 more canoes, that's my C, than P, that's my paddle boat. So that's going to be our, our clue. So what we could do is let's just make our own little table to see what we can do. So let's say we start out with um, canoes have got more. So I'm going to put them over here. And then paddle boats I've got here. So what if I were to start like this and say I've got zero paddle boats. So if I were to have zero paddle boats, then I would need 18 canoes because I've got 18 more canoes. And then if I had one paddle boat, I've got 19 canoes. So you see when we're going this way, we're going with a plus 18 because we take our paddle boat, we add 18, and then we get to our canoes. Now I did that just because this 18 more canoes than paddle boats, um, it made sense to start that way, but if I were to flip it, what happens if I were to do this? Take my same numbers, 18 and zero, 19 and one, we can keep going. You notice now we've got a minus 18. So it just kind of depends on which direction we're going, but you get your inverse operations here. These are opposite inverse operations. So looking at our answer selections here, it looks like we've got canoes on the left, paddle boats on the right. So we're going to use this right here. We've already decided we're looking for a minus 18 rule. So let's see if we can just kind of put this up here, minus 18. See if any of these work out. So let's look at our F. Look at this first row, 72 to 90. Well, 72 minus 18 is not going to be 90. This is actually going to be a plus 18 right here. They're taking 18. They're adding it to the canoes, and they're getting to the paddle boats, which, if we're not careful, might look correct. But remember, there's more canoes than paddle boats. But look at all of these numbers. We have to do a comparison here. All of these numbers of canoes are actually less than your paddle boats, and they want your canoes to be more than the paddle boats. So that is not what we need. So we do have, at least on H, we do have our canoes as greater than our paddle boats. So that's a good step right there. And 72... Minus 18, does that make 54? Let's see, 72 minus 18. I have to regroup there. So that's going to be 4. It does look like that might be minus 18. Let's test another one just to make sure. Let's do, just pick a random one, 85 and 67. So 85 minus 18, does that make 67? So that's going to be yes. So it looks like H is going to be our answer. But take a look right here. You see this first one right here? 72 minus 18 makes 54. Just the same as right here, but this is why we do multiple ones. Look at this second one. 37 and 72, 61 and 90. These are all messed up now. The G is correct, the first row, but all these other ones are incorrect. They're actually going up. And then 72 and 18, that's way too low. This is minus 1. This is, these, these are smaller, but they're all over the place. They're not following any consistent rule. So our answer is H.